Now step three is executing. The first and most important question you need to answer is who can I team up with? And I know a lot of times it feels easier to just do a lot of the groundwork and everything ourselves because it's faster. But if you truly want to build a standout next level extracurricular, it's really important to team up with people. Involving more people almost always means that you can make a bigger difference in more people's lives. And that's really what our extracurricular is all about. There's an African proverb that I really like that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And our objective is to go far. So identify potential teammates. These can be your friends. These can be classmates from your school. They can also be other high school students from around the world that you can meet through online communities. You'll be surprised if you just post a story on Instagram saying, hey, I'm looking for teammates for this initiative. So many people will get back to you saying that, hey, I know someone who's interested or I myself am interested. And it's really important to team up with people who have the same motivation as you and who have a strong interest for the activity that you have in mind. Otherwise, you're just not going to gel that well together. The second question that you really need to answer is who can mentor me? So mentors are people who have experience in doing something similar to what you're setting out to do. They are so important because we can learn from their past mistakes without having to make those same mistakes ourselves in order to learn what not to do. When you're trying to achieve a lot quickly, this eliminates so much time that you spend trying to self learn things that mentors can just teach you in a matter of minutes. And it frees up your time to focus on bigger, more important challenges. So think about the resources you can use for mentorship. This can include books. For example, for my idea, I should read books on social entrepreneurship. It also includes people. So for example, I know someone whose parents have worked in education, so I can reach out to them for advice on how to engage students in the program. Or I can talk to my science teachers because they have experience in teaching science, and they can tell me effective tools and ideas to make my content engaging. Or I have a friend who did a health campaign last year, and I can reach out to him and ask him for advice on how to get more volunteers on board so that we can reach more schools. And finally, I can cold email someone that I found on LinkedIn who works for a nonprofit called Child Rights in New India and ask if they will share some advice on how to work with children. Also think about digital resources like videos and blogs. I watched hours and hours of science videos to try and learn from them and get some inspiration to create our own science curriculum for this program. In the final stage of step three, is to list out the steps that you need to take. I like to organize my notion board into three categories. Plan, in progress, in completed. Initially, you're going to put down things like call with teammates or interview students in schools about their science education and what they like and don't like about it. Or plan a curriculum, get some initial feedback from mentors, have our first session at a school, recruit more volunteers, so that they can go off independently and take sessions in schools. That way I don't have to be in five schools every weekend. I can just focus on overseeing everything. These are tasks that you're going to have to tackle one by one. If you want to know how to best manage your time so that you can get all these tasks done, make sure you check out my time management video linked here. And that's it. That's your three-step plan to creating a next level standard extracurricular that will help you get into the college of your dream. I want to end with one very important point. Make sure whatever you do, it's something that you love doing. There is literally no purpose of doing something just for a college application. One, it will make you miserable. Two, admissions officers can tell through your essays if you genuinely don't care about an activity. So it's going to harm you in the long run. If you want to download this Notion template, it will be linked in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. We talk about college applications, study tips, time management, all that good stuff. My weekly Sunday newsletter for students is linked in the description below. As usual, if you want your questions to be featured, comment them below with the hashtag studentlife and I will pick my favorites for this week's edition. Thank you for watching, have a great day and I'll see you very soon with another video.